Well, good morning. It's been five days since I fed the two layers, uh, the two tiers, some pear. So I figured they were probably due for some more feeding and I want to check on our fly situation. From an exterior point of view, there have been a few flies like these little guys that I just periodically walk by and just kind of, well, you can see. This is a couple days worth of them, but it's definitely slowed down, which is why I want to open this back up so that if there's any more in there lingering, they come on back out. Now I have some really, really old food that is, I mean, at least a month old that I forgot in the back of the fridge that it was gonna go in the worms. Definitely some eggs in here, which is fine, but um, thinking this is gonna be really good to break down for them uh, and give them a nice hearty meal. I have some fresh shredded bags, uh, or not bag, oh my God, shredded <laughs> paper boxes. And I have one of my favorite puppies, Wally, here. I don't know where little brother is, but he's probably sleeping. So, we're gonna open them up and I have decided that I think uh, just for the sake of making it easier to lift things, depending on how the existing tier here that has compost that was drying out, I think last week or we only saw one worm in there. So assuming that's the case this time, I'll put it um, off to this side here and then we will uh, harvest it and empty the bin out and get it ready for hopefully another migration uh, in the coming months. So this top in is still unoccupied. It's just the prep. Oh, although there is a guy in here. Interesting. I see a little bit of movement in here. Okay, so that's interesting. So they migrated from, I guess the tier below, which was storage. So that's interesting. All right, well, still looks like storage in here. Doesn't look like there's anything changed. So I'm just gonna lift both of this layers up. Oh, how interesting. <laughs> you can see where the holes were they were digging through, so they must be looking for some uh, fresher food. And for those of you who are aware, they can eat the shredded paper and the cardboard and all of this stuff here. So I'm not surprised uh, that they started eating through it. And look, little bro has shown up. Hey, Moose. Hey, Wally, you want a little foot warmer? All right, everybody's helping with the worms today. So this tier that we are looking at is our newer tier. So let's see how this pear is looking. Let's see. There's still a lot of bedding in here, so that's good. I think that's helped prevent flies and the like from getting in here. I'm just gently digging away from where I know the pear was last. Okay. Oh, I see the pear in here for sure. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're excited. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really smush them or anything beforehand, which I probably should have for the pear. Um, but... Okay. Well, hey friends. Just curious to see how many are really in here. Okay, there's a fair amount in here. I think uh, just for the sake of keeping them happy with lots of food options, I am going to kind of smush pear back down a little bit and then try and dig ours a little, uh, I don't know, trench again and see what we can layer in here for them so they have a nice hearty feeding and we can wait about another week like a full week to refeed them in the meantime moose is going to be eating his own food down here and the cat's going to be singing his melody <laughs> so let's see what we got in this i got i'm going to use a glove i don't want to use a glove for this old food but because the stuff is so old uh, it's, it's pretty gross. Um, let's see what we got in here. All right. Loose. In my way. I'm just going to put a little bit of eggshell in just because I haven't put any eggs in this bin. 
We got a part of a banana peel here. Because I don't see any banana peels from the previous feeding. Okay. Apparently we were eating a lot of bananas. I like layering it in here whenever I can. Like with the bananas. You know, just put a couple of peels on top of themselves. Potent. And I'm just going to crush some of this eggshell here. And yes, I know some people grind it up and put it super small and whatever. I'm not going to do that because this is trying to be an easy experience. But the reason I am putting it in is because I want it to eventually make it into my garden where I can get lots of good nutrients to the plants via these eggshells that have been working on breaking down for some time. Oops, got some in the puppy. <laughs> you won't mind though. All right, well, I'm not gonna put too much, I don't think I'm gonna put any bedding in here because there's a pretty decent layer in here. Uh, so I will just uh, layer this back in here as carefully as I can. And then this is here i'll show you why i'm thinking i don't want to put more bedding in because it's already very not full like it's not full of black gold or anything but it's just full because i've had so much bedding in here so i'm gonna try to i think with the food that we put in plus what we were able to cover over i think we're gonna be okay what do you think wally wally agrees i guess didn't say no I wanted to move the camera down so that way we can see there's natural light happening right now. It's in the morning time and the bottom tier, the tier bef below this, is the one that had the flies in it. And I'm curious to see how many come up compared to last week. So fingers crossed it's better. I mean... I don't know, maybe you guys saw some from the camera's point of view, but I don't see any kind of mass exodus. So already feeling really good, like we're off to a good start here. So that makes me feel tremendously better. It means that to troubleshoot flies, patience is key. We keep killing the ones on the outside. We opened it somewhat frequently, you know, days instead of a week or so uh, to get them out. So they stop breeding in there. And then lots and lots of shredded paper and bedding. So I see they haven't really broken through this uh, paper towel. So I'm just going to lightly pull back here. Oh, look, and I think this might be one of those uh, spiders that we had before. I assume it was a spider making flies. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That doesn't look good. Nope, 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 nope. That looks like a lot of mites. Let me see if you guys can get in there. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, we're gonna act quick. I have a plan. Okay, just grabbed another glove really quickly. And as much as I hate wasting the food, what I'm gonna do, because I don't want these mites to continue, is I am gonna just try and grab it. Let's see how much I can pull off without disrupting worms, hopefully. Hey, worms. It's coming apart in pieces, which is Honestly, easier. Feel bad about the worms. Sorry, worms. I knew you were enjoying this pair. But let me see if you guys can see. But that is probably not good. Oh, let me get this little worm off. Ooh, little worm, save yourself. Yeah, we don't want mites in our bag or bin, whatever. So. That's too bad that there's mites, but not flies. Okay. 
Well, that is progress, in my opinion. You know, I'd rather deal with mites and be able to pull them out like that really quick where they're all congregated on that uh, pear piece. But unfortunately, that means that, well, not unfortunately, but since I just took their food, there's not really food in here besides bedding. I'm not seeing any of the older food in here from, I guess, a couple feedings ago. So we definitely got a lot of hungry guys in here. And we definitely want to uh, get them food. We want them producing more babies for us so we can make more and more. So same bag of aged banana peels, apparently. Apple core. Random piece of spinach, great. Mm, that's potent. Put a little bit of eggshell over here. I don't think this is too much for them because I'm taking away all of their food. So. I think they can take that. It's quite a bit of food, but let me <clears throat> show you from down here. Let's see if I, oops, sorry about that. All right, there we go. We've zoomed out. So it's still, I mean, there's quite a deficit in here. So that's how I know they definitely could use some more food. So I'm going to take some of the beddings from the sides. And just kind of cover a bit. Oh, we were disrupted some flies, which is good. I'm glad we disrupted them because then hopefully they will fly out and we won't have to worry about them disrupting our wormies anymore. So, okay, still some flies, but not nearly as many, so that's good. Okay, we've got a cover on here. We got food in here. We got some flies on the loose that we're gonna try and kill later. The apple cider vinegar dish soap thing has been working. So I've been using that and changing it out every few days. Um, and honestly, just smushing them as they linger on the edge has been probably the most efficient way to get them out. But sounds like Moose is in the background because while he's here, Moose needs some attention. So I'm going to go put these back together and go check on him. But that's, that's a pretty good... Uh, Feeding, I would say, for them, and, uh, and honestly, even for these guys over here. So, feeling like we're making progress, and uh, I feel good that this bin is definitely looking more and more healthy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you uh, haven't watched this whole journey so far and you're just tuning in, I try to give regular updates when I'm feeding my worms, but I'm also a newbie myself, and this is me just kind of sharing my learn as I go knowledge with others because I think a lot of people could benefit from it and um, it could be a little intimidating for some people I think. So learn with me if you're into um, vermicomposting and you have tips, leave me some tips as well because I could use all the help I can get. <laughs> all right guys, we'll update soon.